हेलो भिवर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ डी एस सी थ्री ऑफ सिक्स सेमिस्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज इंडिया एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंडिया एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी सो फार एज इंडिया एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी इज कंसर्न इंडिया एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी इज कंसर्न वुल डिस्कस इट्स मीनिंग मोटिव बिहाइंड दिस पॉलिसी स्टेप्स टेकन टू प्रोमोट इट एंड ऑब्स्टकल्स बिफोर दिस पॉलिसी बट बिफोर आई डिस्कस इंडिया एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी I want to inform my viewers that my channel number is at the rate Dilip Kumar Pal nine three seven five. If you will search this channel in Google, you will find more than four hundred fifty videos relating to plus two first year political science to plus three plus two second year political science plus three first semester. Political science honors to plus three six semester political science honors and many videos relating to environmental studies. A plus three first semester, which is common for plus three first year arts, commerce, and science students, are also in this channel. I request my viewers that if you have subscribed my channel, so that you will get the benefit. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe for your benefit. and those of your friends who are in above classes plus 2 first year to plus 2 second year political science plus 3 first semester to plus 3 sixth semester political science honors ever them about this channel so that some students will be benefited remember not to hesitate to give help to anybody to give help to anybody is considered as a highest duty of a human being let us start india's eight ist policy we we'll discuss first of all its meaning then motives behind this policy steps taken to promote it and obstacles before it let us start what is india's eight ist policy india's eight ist policy world is a changing world it is a changing world in the sense that in every now and then new incidences are occurring in different part of the world to face those new incidences every nation frame its foreign policy accordingly and india's act is policy is the result of taking place of new incidences in the world world is a changing world world is a changing world in the sense that from time to time new incidences are happening in different corner of the world and to face those new happenings every country frames its foreign policy accordingly if nations will not frame their policy on the basis of changing situation in the world a nation cannot survive so every nation will have to change its foreign policy on the basis of new situation in the world or to face new incidents in the world new incidences in the world so this policy india's act is policy was launched so india's act is policy is the result of taking place of new incidents in the world so as new situations are occurring in the country new incidences are occurring in the country so every nation will have to frame its foreign policy will have to change its foreign policy accordingly and india's act is policy is the result of taking place of new incidents incidents in the world india's act is policy 
is the result to face new situation in the world this policy was launched by this policy was launched in 2014 by prime minister narendra modi this policy india's Act-East policy was launched in 2014 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The object of this policy is to promote good relationship with all nations of Asia-Pacific region, which includes nations of not only Southeast Asia nations, rather nations with of East Asian East Asia and oceanic countries so what is india's act east policy india's act east policy india's act east policy india's act east policy is a policy whose offset is not only promote india's relationship with nations of south east asia but also with nations of east asia and nations of oceanic regions all these will reform all these will be known as asia pacific region so the object of india's act east policy the object of india's act east policy is to promote a relationship of india with nations of Asia Pacific region. Asia Pacific region means nations who are in Southeast Asia, nations who are in East Asia, and nations who are in oceanic, nations of oceanic countries. They are 14 in number. So the object of India's activist policy is to promote India's relationship not only with the nations of Southeast Asia, but also with nations of Asia Pacific region. Asia Pacific region includes nations of Southeast Asia, nations of East Asia, and oceanic countries, where there are 14 countries. So, now discuss meaning of India's at East policy. India's act is policy means it is a policy whose object is to boost economic, cultural, trade, technological, people-to-people -people relations and other strategic relations with Southeast Asian nations, 11 in number, like Brunei, Myanmar, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and Timor Leste, six East Asian nations like China, Japan, Mongolia, Taiwan, South Korea, North Korea, and oceanic countries like Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, and other islands. In total, including Australia, New Zealand, and New Guinea, and other islands, in total, 14. 14 independent countries and several dependent territories known as Australasia, Austro A U S T R A L A S I A, Australasia. So the object of this policy, at this policy, to promote relations with above nations. So what is the India's at this policy? India's at this policy is a policy whose object is to promote India's interest with nations of South East Asia who are 11 in number like Brunei, Myanmar, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam and Timor Leste and six East Asian nations China, Japan, Mel Mongolia, Taiwan, South Korea, North Korea and 14 oceanic countries including including australia new zealand new guinea and other islands and other islands who are independent countries and several dependent countries known as australasia 
So the object of this policy act is policy to promote relations with our nations. So India's act is policy is a policy whose object is to promote India's relations with Asia Pacific region, which includes nations of Southeast Asia, 11 in number, nations of East Asia, 6 in number, and 14 countries. Some are independent and some are dependent, including Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, in total 14 in number. And this area is known as Australia. So, the, so India's act is policy is the policy whose object is to promote India's interest with nations of Southeast Asia, East Asia, and 14 countries of oceanic region known as Australasia. So we are clear about the meaning of India's activist policy. Now discuss motives behind activist policy. What are the motives behind activist policy? To counter Chinese domination in the Asia Pacific region. Chinese domination in this region poses danger to towards India's security from the angle of Southeast Asia in general and Myanmar in particular and from the angle of Indian Ocean. So the first motive of India's activist policy is to counter Chinese domination in Asia Pacific region. Due to Chinese domination in the Asia Pacific region, there is security problem to India from the angle of Southeast Asia in general and Myanmar, Myanmar in particular, Burma in particular, and from the angle of Indian Ocean. So, to counter Chinese domination in Asia Pacific region, India has framed India's act is policy. Number two, second motive Chinese help to Pakistan. As China is helping Pakistan, which is an enemy country of India, so to give all type of help to enemy nations of China like Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, etc. is another motive of this policy. So, a second motive of this policy is to counter Chinese help to Pakistan. China's help to Pakistan. To counter China's help to Pakistan, India has framed this policy. How? China is helping Pakistan which is an enemy of India. So, to help enemy of China, like Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Chinese, India has framed this policy. Just as China is helping Pakistan, which is an enemy of India, so it is the object of India's act is policy, India's act is policy is to help enemy of China to give challenge to China like Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines. And number three, maritime motive. As India and most of the nations of this region are maritime nations, India wants to have good relationship with these nations to make its coastline safe through the information sharing and patrolling together, etc. So another motive of this policy, India's activist policy, is maritime motive. As most of the nations of Asia, Asia Pacific region, as most of the nations of Asia Pacific region are India's maritime neighbor or India's neighbor in sea. So India wants to have good relationship with, the, with these nations to make its coastline safe by patrolling the sea together and exchange of information among them. So maritime motive is another motive of India's activist policy. Now four, peace in North states. As many insurgent groups are operating in North Eastern states, India tries to have good relations with nations of this region in general, Myanmar in particular, 
not to give help and shelter to these insurgent groups to create disturbance in north east states of india so another motive of india's activist policy is to establish peace in north eastern states as in india's north eastern states there are various insur insurgent groups anti nation groups are operating and they are found in the border of indian north eastern states and myanmar so india tries to have good relationship with nations of asia pacific regions in general and myanmar in particular so that these nations will not give help to these insurgent groups or to give shelter to these insurgent groups so that these insurgent groups will not create problem for the india and there will be peace in the north eastern states fifth motive development in north eastern states as north east north east states development in north east states as north east states of india are connected with south east asian nations india wants their development by connecting them with those nations so another motive of india's activist policy is is development of north eastern states as north eastern states of india are connected with south east asian nations in general myanmar in particular india wants to make trade through north eastern states of india with south eastern nations so by this there will be development of north eastern states so we have discussed five motives behind the india's activist policy now discuss steps taken to promote this policy what steps have been taken to promote this policy number 1 initiation to establish joint projects with nations of these regions to promote this policy india has initiated joint projects with nations of southeast asia east asia and oceanic countries india india made joint ventures like mekong ganga project where myanmar thailand laos cambodia and vietnam are involved india myanmar thailand highway kolatan multimodal project to connect calcutta port to c to a a si double t w e a si double t w e c t a port of myanmar to promote this policy india has undertaken various joint projects with south eastern nations number 2 members of various for members of various forums of asia pacific regions member of various forums of asia pacific region in order to promote this policy india has become member of various forums of nations of asia pacific region to have good relations india is is a supporting member of asian association of south east asian nation cas east asian summit etc and it is also a member of quad then third third step to promote this policy initiation of the policy of fta free trade agreement india initiated a india initiates a proposal for free trade agreement with 10 asian nations now discuss there are some obstacles before this policy india's activist policy has some obstacles we will discuss here three obstacles number one india's approach to solve problems of minorities like muslims and christians etc created discontentments in indonesia and singapore the first problem of india's activist policy is the way india solves 
minority problems relating to Christian and Muslims create discontentment in the nation of Indonesia, Indonesia, Singapore, etc. Indonesia and Singapore, Vietnam, these nations are not satisfied with the way India solves its minority problems. This is an obstacle. Number two, India's decision to withdraw, India's decision to withdraw from RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, is another obstacle for this policy. India has decided to withdraw from RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, is another obstacle for this policy. India has withdrawn. India has withdrawn from Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement because India has felt that by this treaty there will be trade deficit. It means there will be more import and less export. For national interest, India had decided to withdraw from RCEP. RCEP it is another obstacle for this India's active policy. Number three, China's continuous add to most of the nations of this region is another obstacle for the success of this policy. China's continuous add and help to most of the nations of this Asia Pacific region is another China's continuous help to nations of most of the nations of Asia Pacific region is another problem for India's activist policy. So I feel that my viewers will get a lot of benefit from this video. I request them only this much that you listen to me and you realize who was the white board so that you will be benefited. Thank you. Have a good day.